All right, fifth grade, welcome to Poem in Your Pocket. As usual, each of you will have a chance to come up and share a poem into the microphone. It is important to speak up. You'll have a microphone to help you, but you've still got to project through your mask and into the microphone so that we can hear you. We are recording so that you can watch it later or your family can. And remember, each time someone comes up to share a poem, we celebrate that person with snaps or quiet claps. If you are reading a poem by someone else and you know the author, make sure you say the author. If you don't, just say this is by someone else. So I'm going to start us off with a poem by Bobby Katz, and it's called A Pocket Poem. With a poem in your pocket and a pocket in your pants, you can rock with new rhythms, you can skip, you can dance. And wherever you go and whatever you do, that poem in your pocket is going there too. You could misplace your homework, you could lose your left shoe, but that poem in your pocket will be part of you. And nothing can take it and nothing can break it. That poem in your pocket becomes part of you. Don't be afraid to raise your microphone up or down if you need to. Uh, do we already have an order in mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I have three poems. Yeah, I know, too many poems. Anyways, uh, the first one is one that you might think is a little bit too uh, corny, but still, <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I don't know, um, but it, it's a haiku. Video games are fun, sometimes cleaning is boring, but there's a reason. Um, and I have a why I can't write anything else today poem, too. One. I don't want to, I'm too tired. Two, when I go home, I'll be busy, and because I have time right now, I can't. Three, because four, I'm bored. Five, too busy putting emojis in my test. Six, my mom said I have to go to school. Seven, I need to go to PE. Eight, I just can't. Nine, I'm too busy writing this. Ten, I don't know. And uh, I also have a third poem. It might be something you might not like, but still, it's very short. Um, here you go. Um, you are amazing. Again, you are amazing. And like, here's this shape. It's a star. I made it using an online um, app, not app, a tab. It's called wordart.com. I guess that's it. Today, I will be reading a poem called Fat Cat. <laughs> I know, I know. I have a cat who was fat. He could not even sit on his mat. He had a hat that could not fit. He put it on and then it split. <laughs> This poem is uh, by someone named Ken Nesbitt. I got a new game for my brother. My mom and my dad got upset. They said, you should never do something that later you'll come to regret. I nodded and told them I'm sorry and sat back and smiled as I played. I got a new game for my brother and that was an excellent trade. Yeah. <laughs> Alone by Edgar Allan Poe. From childhood, from childhood's hour, I have not been. As others were, I have not seen. As others saw, 
I could not bring my passions from a common spring. From the same source I have not taken, my sorrow I could not awaken. My heart to joy at the same tone, and all I loved, I loved alone. Then, in my childhood, in the dawn, the most stormy life was drawn. From every depth of good and ill, the mystery which binds me still. From the torrent or the fountain, from the red cliff of the mountain, from the sun that roundly rolled in its autumn tint of gold. From the lightning in the sky, as it passed me flying by, from the thunder and the storm, and the cloud that took the form, when the rest of heaven was blue, of the demon in my view. Wow. My poem is made by me because um, I couldn't really find anything that I wanted, but it would be good. So I'm writing about 10 reasons why I shouldn't write yet. One, because LeBron James dumped, dumped the ball. Two, because I don't want to. Three, because my dog got scared and lit the house on fire. Four, because I have to use the bathroom. Five, because I've worn a friend's. Six, because I have rights. Seven, because I'm bad at this. Eight, because the class doesn't want to. And nine, because I don't want to write. Ten, because, well, actually, maybe I should write a poem. There was once a dog who looked like a hog, who was friends with a frog. But then his owner came, and he yelled. Then he leaned down, and then he bowed. He bowed. Great job, man. <laughs> I wrote a poem, but it doesn't rhyme or anything, and it's not very good because I just wrote it at the last minute. Um, it's about my cat. It's my cat stands like a penguin, and he's very rude to my other cat. And he cares about everything, but he's still very cute. Happy poem about kids. A is happy, A is angry, T is true. E is everyone on vision and success. Home that can be nice to play well. My teacher likes Minecraft. She plays it all day. She tells us it's better, but she can go play. She had dig in her mind going deeper and deeper, and then fight off a skeleton and zombie and creeper. She had entered her buildings from dirt, wood, and stone, and then go out exploring the landscape alone. She had built in, collect, and she had run, jump, and swing. There's only one copy. We don't want a thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a poem from Ken Nesbitt, and it's called The Video Games That I Keep In My Room. The video games that I keep in my room, like Tetris, Terra, Minecraft, and Doom, and one about somebody raiding a tomb, and one with invaders from space, they're up on a dresser and down on the floor, The Legend of Zelda and Street Fighter ID. And Roblox and Pac-Man and Fortnite and more are scattered all over the place. There's Sonic the Hedgehog and Dragon Ball Z and Mario Party and Madden for Wii. And FIFA 18 for the PlayStation 3, they're, they're littered and strewn all, all around. There's Kid Sports and Kirby and Kingdom Hearts 2, Jurassic Park, Jeopardy, Just Dance the EU. And don't forget Pokemon, red, green, and blue, all over my desk and, and the ground. They're under my bed and a battered old box. They're tossed in the closet with Legos and blocks. They're stuffed in a drawer with my undies and socks. They're thrown around every which way. It's kind of a problem. It's sort of a shame. It's clear on my clock. No, no one else is to blame. 
the game I can't locate is always the same. It's the one that I'm watching the play. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> My name is Ken. I live in a pen. My best friend is Ben, and I look like a chin. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I made myself a snowball as perfect as it, as it could be. I thought I could keep it as a pet and let it sleep with me. I made it at some pajamas, a pillow for his bed. Then the last last night it ran away, but first he wet my bed. <laughs> Last night I dreamed of chickens. Last night I dreamed of chickens. There were chickens everywhere. They were standing on my stomach. They were nesting in my hair. They were pecking at my pillow. They were hopping on my head. They were ruffling up their feathers as they raced about my bed. They were on the chairs and tables. They were on the chandeliers. They were roosting in the corners. They were clucking in their ears. There, there were chickens, chickens, chickens for as far as I could see. When I woke today, I noticed there were eggs on top of me by Jack Crip. Crip. Good job, yeah. Okay, so my poem is called Your Face. If you always try to beg, then you'll never have to wonder about what you could have done. If you surround it all with thunder, and if your dress is not good as no, good, not as good as you hope it will be, you still say I gave today all that I had. Bye, <laughs>